Hello everyone, myself Sumala Berada. In previous videos, we discussed about relational model concept, integrity constraints. Now in this model, let's see about relational algebra. What actually relation algebra? It is a basic set of operations for the relational model. Okay. So these operations enable to enable a user to specify a basic retrieval request. If users want to retrieve any information, then with the help of this basic set of operations, users can retrieve the information whatever they require. So the result, whatever it is retrieved, no, it is in the form of new relation. So that will be formed from one or more relations. Okay. And the algebra operation, those produce new relation which can be further manipulated using operations of the same algebra here. The sequence of relational algebra operations forms a relation algebra expressions whose result will also be a relation that represents the result of a database query or a retrieval request here. So relational algebra, it is very simple. So relation is already, it is created. So now after that users, which type of the information they want to retrieve, no? So for that they have to send a request here. So that request is in the form of the basic set of operations. So whatever the information they require, no? That, okay, information may be, it is contained in the multiple relation, okay? It extracts those informations from the multiple relations and what are the retrieval results we will get, no? So that is in the form of new relation here, okay. So now in relational different operations are there. So first one is unary relational operations, relational algebra operations from set theory, binary relational operations, additional relational operations. These are the different types of the relational operations. Let's learn one by one. First we start with the unary relational operations. So once again, in unary relational operations, three different types of the operations are there. First one is the select operation, next is project and next is rename operation. First it starts with the select operation. So this select operation is used to select a subset of the tuples from a relation. As you already know that relation is in the form of the table. So in the table rows, it signifies the tuples here. So those tuple subset, if you want to select, it is possible with the help of this select operation. So this is the syntax, okay, sigma, it is an operator, select operator in relational algebra and select condition based on which condition you want to retrieve and name of the relation here. So that condition may be Boolean expression here. So that selection condition is this Boolean expression. Syntax of Boolean expression is First, you have to specify the attribute name, comparison operator and constant value. So, it is domain value here or attribute name, comparison operator, attribute name itself. So, now that comparison operators may be equal, not equal, less than, greater than, less than equal, greater than, equal here. Even you can connect the selection conditions, okay, with the help of the connect classes that is and, or, or not here. So, these are the some of the connect classes are used, okay. These are the operators, Boolean operators used to connect the classes here. Multiple conditions if you want to specify, no. For specifying that, you can take the this Boolean operators here. So, these are the Boolean expressions and these are the Boolean operators to combine the multiple selection condition. So, selection operator, it is sigma is to select, okay, operator and condition and R is the relation name here. Now let's take one example to select the employed tuples whose department number is 4 for the following mention is used. So now my aim is what? Employee, assume that employee relation is already there. In that relation, I want to select only the tuples whose department number is 4 here. So for this, I want to write a relational algebra using one of the operation that is the select operation. So what is the procedure? Select you are using to select the tuples. So the sigma next is selection condition. What is the condition here? Department number is 4. So department DNO is the attribute name that is equal to name number is what it is value for the DNO attribute value if it is 4 from which table from employee table those tuples you want to select here. So, for example, this is your table, okay, employee table and this table you already created now. 
So, but user interest is what? Now, user want to retrieve only those tuples whose department number is 4 here. See here, attribute name DNO holds department number. That attribute name first you have to take. Next is operator. So, which operator you require for the comparison? Here, number it is equal to 4 here. That why, that's why you have to take as a assigned expression that is operator. Okay. So, equal and next is the department number 4. So, from which table? Employee table here. So, now I want to select it. So, which tuples I have to select now? First tuple, no, 5. Next is also 5. So, this third and fourth tuple, what is hanged it is? It is hanged the department number as a 4 here. Then, it selects these two tuples. Next is, this is 5 and this is 5. This is 4 here. So, according to this selection operation, what are the new relation you will get now? In that new relation, how many tuples are there? Only these three tuples here. It selects these three tuples where department number is 4. DNO equal to 4 where you are hanging now. This is the output for this select operation and this is the subset of the tuples here. So, it is hanging the, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 tuples are there. So, among 9 tuples, now you are selecting as a sub-tuples that is 1, 2, 3 here according to some criteria. What is the condition here? DNA equal to 5 here. And the sigma you are using for which purpose? To select the tuples here. Okay, is it clear now? Okay, sigma, selection condition and name of the relation. In the same way, one more example to select the employee tuples whose salary is greater than 30,000. If the criteria is requirement is the retrieve the tuples from the employee table whose salary is greater than 30,000. So, which attribute holds the salary value? Yes, attribute name is the salary. This attribute holds the salary value here. So, that is why sigma next is attribute name. And what is the condition here? Condition is salary is greater than 30,000. So, then you have to use the one of the comparison operator that is greater than and value is what it is 30,000. From which table? The salary is present in which table? It is present in the employee table. So, relation is the employee table. So, in the employee table whose salary is greater than 30,000, those employee tuples you want to select and that one you will get as a new relation here. Yes, first one is having the salary as a 30,000, but here condition is greater than. That's why it doesn't select the first tuple. Second tuple, okay, salary value it is greater than 30,000. That's why it selects. Next to third tuple, no. Okay, fourth tuple, S. Yes. Next, fifth tuple, S, yes, 38,000. Next is no because it is having the less. This one is also less. Next, last tuple, S. Yes. So, these are the, okay, tuples which fulfill this condition. So, now in the new relation, how many tuples will get? 1, 2, 3, 4 tuples here. Okay. So, this is about select operation. So, in the select operation, you may take multiple condition also. As I told earlier, if you want to take the multiple condition, then you can use the one of the clauses and put in operator to compare the or to take the multiple conditions here. So, here that is the example. To select the employee tuples, whose department number is 4 and salary is greater than 30,000. So, now here condition is what? Once again, you need to select a tuples. For selecting tuples, which operator you require? Sigma operator. That is the select operator. Next, you have to specify the condition. What is the condition here? First condition is department number is 4. So, which attribute holds that? That DNO holds the value as a 4 here. So, DNO equal to 4. Department number, you are using the DNO as the attribute name and domain value here it is the 4. And one more condition. What is that condition? Salary. Salary attribute here it is and salary must be greater than the 30,000 here. These two attributes are present in which table? Employee table. That relation you have to specify inside the parenthesis here. So, now this is your given relation and you want to retrieve the new relation which contain the tuples only which fulfill this condition. So, according to that if I take this is not the condition fulfilled. Next I will go to the this one as salary is greater than 30,000 but department number is 5 here. Next 25,000 department number is 4 
but salary is lesser here. Both the condition if it is true that you will it select. Next C here. Yes, here department number is 4 and salary is greater than 30,000 here. Okay. Yes, 43 is greater than. Then it selects this particular tuple as a new relation. That relation contains only this tuple here. Next is 5, 5. Okay. These will fail. Okay. Department number condition itself fails. Next is the, okay. Department number is 4. This condition is true. But salary condition it fails here. So, and means both if it is true, then it retrieves here. So, according to this one, which one it retrieves now? Only this particular tuple. So, now in the new relation, how many tuples are there? Only one relation here. Sorry, only one tuple here. This is about your select operation. Is it clear now? Okay. Next, one more operation comes under in this unary operation. That is the project operation. Project operation it is used to select a certain columns from the table here. If you want to select the attributes from the table, then okay you go for this project so this is the syntax by and attribute list and relation name here okay so for this example here so by attribute names are multiple attribute names if you want then you can separate that one using the comma here l name f name and salary are what now all these are the attribute names so from which relation you are selecting that relation name you have to specify imply then you will get the output as a only this. So, in employee, so many attributes are there, but if you use the project, it selects only those columns which you require. So, which columns you want to retrieve now? Only L name, F name and salary. See here, only L name, F name and salary. These are the attributes. It is got as a new re relation here. So, now project, it is used to select the columns, okay? And sigma select operation, it is used to select the tuples one more operations you are using here in the uh, in a unary operation that is the okay rename so rename operator is row row is used to rename so generally where when you require this renaming one this is the one format where you are renaming so row and s is the new relation name and b1 b2 bn are the attribute names for the old relation is r here so, here it is renamed relation S based on R with the column names here. So, column names also you are renaming and means you are changing and relation name is also you are changing. Earlier relation name is R, now you are renaming as a S here. One more, so now here you are only changing the relation name here. S based on R here. Here you are not specifying the column names here. So, here one more sample, here you are changing the column names okay for the this relation here so now here you are not giving the new name for the relation only column names you are specifying here but you are not specifying the new relation name here so here our relation name remains as it is but attribute names you are renaming as a new name says b1 b2 bn here one example is what both relation name and attributes you can rename only relation name also you can rename or only attributes of the relation also you, you can rename here. So, this is about your rename operator. You may have the question when we go for the rename. This is the one example. Example to retrieve the first name, last name and salary of all employees who works in department number 5. So, now I want to retrieve the all those employees who works for department number 5 here and now I want to get only the which columns here the first name last name and the salary here so retrieve first name last name and salary means what you want to select these three attributes for selecting the attributes which operator you require as yes, you require the by okay that is the project operation project operation is to select the attribute names so project f name L name and salary. Next is who works in department number 5 here. You want to select only those tuples where department number is 5. So, for selecting the tuples which operator you require and that is the sigma as a select operator and condition is what here DNA equal to 5 here and relation from the employee. So, here I am combining the both the operators here. Okay. This expression we call as the inline expression here, okay. Both 
this is your relation and for this relation both the operator you are using select and project both the operations you are using here so such type of the expressions what we call we call as a inline expression this inline expression explicitly also you can write based on the sequence of the operation first what was the condition department number equal to 5 here so for selecting the tuples sigma tn equal to 5 and relation name is the employee here so what are the result you will get now that result you are storing in the new relation here so this is what we call as a renaming actual relation is employee and you are renaming as a dep5 okay emps this is the new relation name here so now for in that relation uh, you want to select only these three attributes f name l name and the salary here so that is project what are the result you will get now that result you are storing in the one more new relation that is the result here this is department dp dep5 is the intermediate relation from this you will get the final result and that result you are storing in the new relation as a result here in this situation we need to go for the renaming here see the same expression you can write in line using inline expression or explicitly show the sequence of operations sequence wise also you can write here one thing remember so first according to condition you have to select the tuples and what actually want to really retrieve that one you take in the second line here. sequence first condition next is retrieve attributes here that is the result here. So, for this inline expression, what are the result I got now? First, directly I taken the this expression. So, then I got directly result as a F name, L name and salary. So, if I use the sequence of operation, temporary, that is DE5, it selects first tuples where department number DNO equal to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Next, final result is what it is. It selects only the first name okay last name and the salary here see here attribute names are f name l name and salary but in the result i renamed as what here first name last name and the salary here so this is about your rename operation so these are the three different unary operations okay is it clear now okay first is select operation to select the tuples next is project operation to select the columns next rename is to if you want to rename the any new re, okay, relation with the new name or any attributes with the new attribute that is also possible here. Is it clear now? Okay. Thank you.